it's Annette with Sun to Shine Astrology and Tarot and this week we have very special series of videos preparing you for the following week which is election week. So the week prior to that is going to be a series of three videos. Um, today's video is going to be covering October 27th um, that is when Mercury enters Libra, uh, which is currently in retrograde, and Venus enters Libra as well on the same day. The reason I am discussing these in three separate videos is because this is a lot of energy to try to put into 20 minutes. It's like almost impossible. And I feel like each one of these aspects deserve its own video just because it's such a intense time, for sure. So the sun is still in Scorpio. And the sun in Scorpio um, on this day is going to be in an exact quincunx with Chiron and Aries. So... When you think of Aries energy, you think of your sense of self, what you center your life around, your basic wants and needs, and that immediate desire for gratification. That's what Aries energy usually is. It's our warrior. It's our determination. It's our stamina. It's um, the leaders of the Zodiac. Yet, we can be the leading lady or leading man in our life, but when we have this Chiron aspect, which is in retrograde, we're diving deep into our innermost weaknesses, our fears, our insecurities, um, that place that we can't quite fix, we can't quite get right about us, that we're, where we're not accepted, where we're not received, um, and we are not perceived properly. Well, that's in this exact quincunx with the sun in Scorpio, which is all about a Plutonian aspect to it because the sun in Scorpio is going to be squaring off with Saturn, Pluto, and um, Jupiter. And it's going to be opposing Uranus in Taurus, which is in retrograde. So this is a very active sun. And sun's energy is the center, is the core. It's the, it's the heart of the matter, right? And it is in this very intense conversation with your innermost fears, weaknesses, um, insecurities, where you, you maintain power, where you lose power, where you give power away, where you empower others, and where you take their power away. It's also in the area where um, we think about what we want to possess in the material realm. And it has some past-based flavor to it, meaning there is a comparison of maybe something you ideally wanted but couldn't have. And there is this sense of fear that is associated with stability or instability, um, material comfort, what's valuable about you or maybe what people um, don't value enough about you, um, maybe what you want people to value about you. Um, these are all conversations that are going on and it's very intense. This time is a very self-focused time, but it's also a time that is actually um, really integrated into the global energy as well, into that global vibration, you know, that worldwide vibration that we're all experiencing and we're seeing in politics and government and we're seeing um, all over the world with things that have power over us. You know, we're, it, karma and the rules and the laws that regulate us are coming into question and we're really revisiting some places where there are weaknesses in those rules and regulations and um, governing bodies um, who enforce the rules and regulations and the power that they have over us. We're visiting all of that. So we're doing this externally and internally at the same time. 
but you make a very intense conversation. Now getting back to, as if, you know, we don't have enough crazy energy with all of that, getting back to today's aspects, which is Mercury enters Libra, which is, and which is currently in retrograde and Venus enters Libra. So Mercury rules the, your day-to-day -day life, what you react to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, your reactions to the people around you, to the things around you, to the stimuli around you. And it's it's really that lower mind, you know, whereas uh, Venus, it represents attraction and love and money and pleasure and all the things you want to attract to you. And that is in Libra. So Venus rules Libra, right? It's a ruling planet. So it's home, and that's a really great, great place for a Venus energy to be, and that is why there's some positive energy going on in Venus right now. It's beautiful, and that's where I'm going to ask you guys to really concentrate on the 27th, your vibe, because with Mercury in um, Libra, which is in retrograde, there's a very intense aspect to this, um, because Mercury, which is in Libra, is squaring off with Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto and opposing uh, Uranus and Taurus. And because Mercury is conjunct the Sun in Scorpio, this is really dredging up stuff about relationships, partnerships, bonds, and unions, legal um, situations, uh, uh, legal um, contracts, um, anything that has to do with what's fair, right, wrong, any kind of mediating a situation, um, the courts come to mind, anything where you're going to court, um, that could be heavily aspected and there could be some very intense energy coming down because if people have been abusing power in any way, Libra energy is all about restoring balance and harmony and peace in that and actually laying down the law and enforcing the law once it's been laid down and passing judgment and all those things that Libra energy um, controls. It's a very intense day. It is a day where words are going to be um, very, very powerful, very powerful because um, they could literally level and destroy a perception of a person and you know, I find that to be pretty scary just because there's so much energy going on. The words are so powerful that they can actually ignite very serious ramifications. I, I think of the um, Mars, which is in Aries, it's squaring off with Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto all in Capricorn. That's the warrior energy. That's that energy that makes us want to fight about it makes us want to be super aggressive. Um, it's very volatile energy. It's it's a lot of power and control issues. It's a lot of self-control issues. And it's a lot of ego clashes on this day. So what we, what we need to do is pour positivity into all of this energy. Because there's going to be some rough news. There's going to be some things that come out. Some secrets that are revealed um, some hidden truths that are going to bubble up to surface uh, to the surface in relationships, partnerships, bonds, and unions specifically. It could be somebody reaches out to you um, that was a past connection or a past relationship of some sort, and they just reach out to, to you and want to reconnect. Um, this has to do with fears, fears in relationships, fears about relationships, fears about commitment. Um, this also ha could have something to do with unrealistic expectations. You know, what you, what you perceive to be true versus what is true. Um, and what is the rational, logical solution? I think everybody is so mentally exhausted because there's no rational behavior right now. Everybody is just extreme and irrational and just going off the rails. And it just seems like the littlest thing sets everybody off. And it takes and it goes into this direction that's like 
It's not logical. It's not rational. And so I think with Libra energy coming in, I think it can help restore as soon as the sun goes into Libra. I think it can start to restore some sort of disconnection from the emotional self. But first, we've got to go through this intense Scorpio and sun season. And that is when you really, really feel what you're made of. Like if you can if you can empower yourself during some of the darkest times, then then you know that um you're wor that basically you're getting a blessing from Saturn. So positive energy. This is where you are gonna wrap your energy to. It's it's so powerful to know if you're getting pulled into negativity. If you're getting seduced by a fear or negativity or other people's agendas or somebody trying to manipulate you, you can feel that pull to negativity. This is what you're going to do with your energy. You're going to find ways to empower your life. You're going to work on the things that um, are very goal-oriented for the long run. Um, this isn't going to be about instant gratification. If you're there, you're going to fall into negative energy. This is about creating routines and habits and rituals that create a balanced and empowered life. If you're interested in that, interested in facing your fears and facing the things that reduce your power, this can be literally the most empowering and enlightening and eye-opening time you've ever been through. And you could feel like you're the most authentic you've ever been. And you are embracing your weaknesses. And you are, um, you're not fearful of, of where your, that Achilles heel is or that where that weakness is. In fact, you're expressive about it and you're open about it and you don't feel the need to hide it anymore from anybody. You just want to be real. You just want to connect. You just want somebody to know you, to love you, and to accept you for who you really are. And you're done wearing your mask. You're done looking in a mirror and trying to keep up a perception of other people, of, of an expectation of other people. You're trying to be authentic to your soul. And that is what is really trying. We're trying to crack open that egg and expose what you really are in this energy. Some of us, it's so hard for us because the ego is at play here. And the ego is, is ruling us. It's struggling to keep the power in our lives in the forefront like the ego wants what it's always had and in this energy the one thing that's being broken down is your ego because what your ego actually wants it's very it's very um short term instant gratification it will never feed your soul long and you'll always want more and so understand that we'll revisit these lessons, these karmic lessons and this, these lessons over and over again until they almost destroy us or destroy us. When you get Pluto and Saturn having a conversation with you, this is a place that could literally destroy your life. If you don't pull it together, stop acting ego-oriented and selfish and self-centered and self-focused. This is an area where you need to fix about you. You need to bring into balance. You need to bring into peace and you need to bring into harmony. That's why it's all aspected with all this beautiful Libra energy. Anyhow, guys, this is going to be just a video where, you know, this these series of three is to help you understand that you ultimately have the power over your energy and you can tune it and route it wherever you want to. It's a frequency, it's a vibration, and you have the power more than you know to route that energy onto positivity. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to release these kind of all at once so that you guys can have as much time before the election um, in the USA to um, try to route your energy to empowering 
thoughts and and um, balance and peace and harmony because there will be so much fear out there, um, fear mongering. They want you scared. They want you under their control so that they can make you do what they want you to do and understand that individually we're reclaiming that power. That's what this is all about. And unfortunately, there is a power and control struggle because the people who you always have had the power over us want to keep it that way. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day and um, I'll see you for part two um, of this week's reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.